I am here in the Netherlands at Ranch Meets Dressage Horse Barn, <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to be taking you guys to a lesson with me, and I am so excited. I've never ridden a like, real lesson outside the States, and I think it will be really fun and a great experience, and I get to learn from a different trainer, so this will be super fun, and let's go in. <laughs> Instead of not using your hands and with that throwing away your reins, then the horse runs up for four or five steps until it realizes, oh, I need to go to camp. Right. You know, okay. It's much better to support them a little bit with your hands. You don't have to start pulling, but you have to give them a little bit of support so they can actually jump nicely. Then they jump into your hands and then you get a nice collected jump where they start pushing themselves up in the widows already. Okay. Now you kind of make her go flat and forward. Okay, yeah. Essentially, I was throwing away my reins when trying to pick up the canner. It's for sure a bad habit, and I think it comes from my own logical thinking of if there's pressure in the mouth, then that means to slow down, so why not do the opposite when that is completely wrong, and I know it's completely wrong, so Ron was just trying to explain why not to throw away my reins and why it is beneficial for jumping as well as just shush. You're bending, you have difficulties. Yeah. And especially if you're not focused on what's happening underneath of you, you're too much with other things. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying you're doing that, but riding is not about being on your phone, blah, 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 and now we've got to ride a little bit. No, you've got to be really focused to do it well. Right. And at that moment, you take better into the ride. And I want you to keep going on the sofa. Instead of that, I come here, and I decide, oh, I have to go to the ride, and oh, there we go. Ideal is when you have a heel already bent, eight meters to do that, before you turn to the right. Mm. So don't start turning to the right unless it feels that like she's in your outside range and that she's gonna take the bend. Okay. Pushing with your right lap and take the bend. Go, 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 bring everything with your inside hand to the outside. Instead of pushing the lap heel in with your right. So that should have been done better. Right. And more time. Do it from A. So continue as we go. Oh. Wait, you said start at A. Sorry. That's <laughs> okay. And now collect, collect, push over, and bend. Yes, push over and bend. Don't look too much to where you go. Look at what you're doing in your horse. You're looking a little bit too much to the whole area. Sorry. Now what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit shorter, and then we're going to push her a little bit side. We keep her straight. We don't do anything with your hands. And you just push with your left leg to pull it back. And then you're going to push her side. Yeah, good. Now we're going to do a little bit shorter. 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 We're going to do a Collect and push. Collect and push. Yes. Good. And push. Make the ball good. Now we're going to ride serpentine with three balls. That's okay. uh, exactly what I want to see. Because every ball, you're going to push your horse two much that outside train. Push and relax and relax. Now don't let it go fast on your inside leg. That's not what you're asking. Right. I, I asked something from a horse and now I went to the left. To the left back. Yeah. To the back. Oh, yeah. They are on the inside track. And if you move on the track, you go straight. Now we move. 
moved on to serpentines. As you saw from the previous clips, I was having issues with properly bending as well as communication with the horse. I guess I'm just not used to having a horse heavier in your hand to help collect more. Essentially, she was picking up the pace when I would ask for her to bend certain ways and that's where the heavier connection comes in to say, no, we're not speeding up. I just need you to move slash bend properly. <laughs> And to the right, right back, push them over, push it to the outside and bend. Push it to the outside. Okay, good. Now, that was the gun. Let you be a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> now you're ready to be inside. Yeah. It was, it was okay, but... I'm sorry. <laughs> change your back, change your back. Yeah, very good. Very good. That's all you really need to do. It's a small egg, it's one second. You don't have to come off the track. And three feet before then you come on the track. So you get it. Okay. Oh, okay, hold on. Yes, <laughs> you come So that was the lesson guys. I really hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed it. It was super informational. I learned so much from Ron. He is such a great trainer. If you're ever in the Netherlands, I think you should check him out and his daughter also rides and trains so you should go check her out as well. I'll have like all the links down below if you ever want to come and hit him up and ride in the Netherlands. Thank you so much for Equilens for giving me this opportunity to one just come to the Netherlands but to like get us in touch with such a great trainer. But yeah that is it for today. All of my socials are linked down below so please go ahead and follow and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Nice.